Hello, everyone. Um, you can call me royalties on the beat, or you can call me Leah, preferably. Um, but, you know, I've definitely been following this case with Kanika Jenkins since it broke. Um, I was never even intending to even make any type of videos um, because there is some people out here that is actually doing a really good job on following this case um, as well. Um, but I did send these pictures to um, another YouTuber and they were really small. So I just decided to put a video together so that you guys can be able to take a look at these photos. Um, I also left on there what I, you know, a screen to show you guys exactly what I did to take the color, the color out the photo, um, so that you guys can be able to see the images a little bit better. Now, um, I'm definitely currently going to school for film and music, and all I can say is these photos are editing a thousand percent. And you guys can definitely look at the photos and see that they're edited. Um, on some of the pictures, I did circle in areas that you guys should definitely pay attention to because those are the areas where I notice a lot of um, change and I can see a lot of the editing there. Um, as, as if you guys look on Kanika's body, you can see some of the white areas that kind of look similar to the wall. Um, it should not be like that. And especially if you zoom in unto her and in certain areas that I circled, you can see a very blocky area. That's not what it should look like. Um, I don't really know what to say. I just really hope that, you know, eventually this case can be opened. Because, you know, she does deserve justice. Um, you know, I don't, not really going to go into anything about her mom. Because for me, I don't think her mom has anything to do with her daughter being dead. You know, um, she just beat cancer. And I just don't see why people are trying to dig up stuff on her and her family instead of really trying to keep the focus on what happened at that hotel and how did she end up in the freezer. Her mom was not at that party. And her mom was nowhere in that area. Now, people may say she's not acting the way she should act in their eyes, but you guys have to understand, when people deal with a lot of death, or they're in an area where there is a lot of death, people handle it differently. People show their emotions differently. People, Some people are not going to just be the breakdown crying in front of people. They can be the people that cry behind doors. You guys never know. Um, you know, you guys have to put yourselves in her shoes. And how would you guys act if this was your child? And people were trying to find justice for your child. And you know deep down in your heart that you have nothing to do with this period, how would you guys feel if somebody was bashing you and your family pulling up all kinds of dirt that has nothing to do with the case, period, you know, um, so there's just a couple YouTubers I have to stop following, um, for that reason, um, you know, I'm really not too good at the, let me, uh, share my screen or and all that, cause I'm still working on it, um, you know, I, I don't really know how to do that. So hopefully somebody can help me learn how to do that. Then I can be able to share my screen and then I can be able to really go over some images that I have from the footage that I took um, and show you guys how um, I take out the color and saturation and contrast and all that out the picture. Um, but um, yeah, so other than that, um, I just want you guys to look at the video. Um, you guys can definitely zoom in and to be able to look closer and then you guys can just take a look for yourself. Now, one of the images that I do have on here, um, is a picture of the Jordan retro 13s that she had on, um, so that you guys can kind of see what that bottom of her shoe looks like. Um, because I know in one of these images that I touched up a little bit with the contrast and 
saturation and stuff like that, it looks like I can see her shoe in the image, the bottom of it. Um, and there's another um, photo that I have as well where it's kind of, you know, it's a possibility that it can be. But, you know, for me, people are failing to realize that when that guy found her and he made that 911 call, he specifically said, I have a subject that is frozen solid in the fridge freezer located by the loading docks. That's not the upper kitchen um, where a lot of people are seeing her walk at because um, that's not the area that she was found in. Um, other than that, um, I really don't have too much more to say except for just pay attention to the photos and you guys will see a lot of black around her and she should not have that much black on her and you, sh you should definitely see more blue in her because in some of the image you can see some blue but then you do see a lot of black and then it just looks distorted like um when I've even first seen this video, I was automatically like, she's not, something's not right with these photos. Something is not right. Um, so what I did do, I got this specific video here off of the Chicago, I, I, I think it's WGCTV news. So I got it from there. And this was the footage that they released, I believe. It was the 15th or the 12th. I can't remember exactly. But um, what I did was I watched this video in reverse. So I was watching it backwards um, in kind of a slow motion so that I can be able to actually really get the image that I was trying to catch. Um, but for the most part, you know, I'm just really hoping that everybody can come together and be able to really get justice for her. Um, I'm not going to be planning to be doing like a whole lot of videos on this because um, it's not something that I really have a lot of time for. But when I can, I will. And especially once I learn how to share my screen with you guys. And then I can be able to go more in depth with you guys in um, what I'm doing with the pictures. Um, other than that, you know, if you guys can like and subscribe to my channel, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely going to have a lot more music put up on my page because that's what I do. I'm producing beats and things like that and also doing film. So, um, you know, just like and subscribe to my channel. Um, give me some feedback on how you guys like this video and what you guys actually think about the video. Um, cause like I said, this is my first time even making a video to put on YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and I also, I did send some of these images to Candace Starr. Um, she's a really good YouTuber. I really like her channel. Um, I, I like the way she explains her pictures and things like that, you know, because there's a lot of people out here who get these pictures and then they're like, saying they see something and I don't even know what they're even seeing. I had I seen one YouTuber like try to draw and say this is what she's seen but then she got to the next picture she couldn't even draw it again. She was like couldn't even do it because it wasn't there. Whatever she was trying to say was there was not there. So for me I'm not going to say anything is a fact but I will definitely say allegedly because right now nothing is a fact. Right now everybody is innocent until proven guilty um, and that's just what it is. Um, but at the end of the day um, I'm just rooting for justice for her. I, I really feel bad for her mom. I just feel bad for her family period because anybody having to deal with this type of situation you know it's sad and I just pray that you know, none of this stuff happens to none of my nieces or anything like that myself. You know what I'm saying? At that. Um, but at the end of the day, um, just like and subscribe. Watch the video. Um, I hope you guys like it. Um, 
you know, it's probably not going to be the best, but it will be better eventually. Um, so thank you, you guys. Enjoy. <laughs>